I am back with shavers. This is video, I believe, video number 59. One more shy of 10 videos since my return. And uh, today is a very special one because I been, I've been meaning to shave with this guy right here. Empire State of Mind, a collaboration collab or collaboration between Pasteur's Pharmacy in New York City and HCNC. Pete Hendricks uh, from Nashville, Tennessee. And what it looks like is a pretty hard soap. This is hard. I don't know if you can hear it. Which I needed to use my stainless steel shovel. I was gifted by a friend of mine, compadre because I'm gonna do bowl lathering. They, I've already test lathered this soap and even shaved with it. And it's, it's amazing. Um, the base that um, Pete Hendricks and HCNC, I didn't show this, I'm such a bad, bad, bad YouTuber that I didn't do this. It's a wonderful, in the back, where the ingredients are. I don't know if you can see them. The camera can focus real well. Here it is. Sorry. There you go. So, aftershave. And you might be wondering what is this scent inspired? It is inspired by Sauvage Elixir, which I will be using to chase this up. Like I mentioned, I will be using my Japanese Suribaki bowl. I smeared the, the, the soap. What I did is that I scraped it, formed an almond size pellet, and just like, you know, I uh, smeared it. For the razor, Blackland Era. Bought it because it's discontinued. I've been always meaning to shave with this. This is the number five plate, if you can see it. Right there, number five plate. And it's loaded with a big chrome platinum. It's already loaded, comes in this wrapper like this. Very, very good. Of course, the brush that I will be using is a Zenith. I believe this is a 26 millimeter horse hair brush that I'm already soaking. Uh, and I'm good. Of course, I'm gonna be doing some prep. Appreciate with the cube. And let's get this show on the road. Señores, uh, give me a couple of seconds and I'll weep. I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Just finish off work. Uh, got into the shower, it's so hot here. I know that it's winter, this, you know, Thanksgiving, winter is coming in most of whatever you're watching me from. But here in Puerto Rico, it's so hot. Right now it's like 90 and it's five o'clock, okay? So I'll be uh, prepping and I'll be right back, okay? Give me uh, just a couple of seconds. Okie dokie, I'm back. So I did a lather off camera or, or off camera lather. And the scent of, of this soap and aftershave is just amazing. Right now, soap wise, look at it, look at the uh, suds it just created. Scent wise, this is a five out of five. This is a strong scented soap. And it's very, <clears throat> very, very similar or close to the ore. Elixir, Savage Elixir, I mean. Which is my favorite of the, all, the whole Savage series of soaps. It's the final flanker. Was just released, I believe, last year. It was a Macy's exclusive, I believe. We're gonna buy it in the States. 
might be wrong. At least over here it is in Puerto Rico. And it's my favorite, like I said before. Did my routine off camera, like I told you, of the uh, pre-shave with the cube, ice cube. I've been enjoying mentholated shaves <clears throat> lately. Blackland era. Been meaning to uh, get one. So I bought this discontinued uh, uh, reduced price of, I think it was 55. It was five dollars of shipping. Got in pretty quick. So, I don't know if you notice, I'm keeping my mustache and my goatee and uh, my last shave was, on camera shave, was Veterans Day. Since then I've shaven like two or three times. But because I'm not accustomed and I don't really like having the mustache and the goatee, I'm just doing it because it's uh, No Shave Movember. Like I said in a couple of videos back that I started doing this. I started like shaving and I had to like stop because of muscle memory and I, oh my gosh, I, ne I, I nearly shave off my mustache. Oh. I thought the two pass with the grain shave was difficult. Just controlling your urges to uh, just shave everything off. It's another. Huh. It's another ordeal or task. So, uh, let me talk about the soap. Let me grab my cell phone notes that I have here. Okay, okay, so Empire State of Mind is a collaboration between Pasteur's and Hendrix Classic, which brings an ultra premium fragrance. The fragrance is a dupe of Sauvage Elixir. So, ACNC soaps, I uh, have a couple of samples, bought them directly from Peter Hendrix in Nashville, Tennessee. Great offerings of soap. I'm gonna go over the ingredients real quick of this soap I, in particular. I think Pete, um, Pete Hendricks have um, been working on his, since his initial soap base, I think two times. So I think this is the latest iteration so its ingredients are cocoa butter, cocoa butter, elipi butter, steric acid, glycerin, coconut oil, lye, um, reconstituted aloe uh, juice, goat's milk, myristic, myristic, myristic acid, lye, no, myristic acid, lye, NaO, Na, uh, no, sodium hydroxide, pretty much, lanolin, castor oil, bentonite clay, fragrance, if applicable, and toso silk. Um, what are the top notes of this uh, soap? So they are cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, and grapefruit. The middle note, that's, those are the top notes. The middle notes are lavender. The base notes are licorice and sandalwood. Amber, patchouli, and Haitian vetiver goes down in the, in the bottom notes or the base notes. This is a toned down version of the Ambroxan Balm, which is Dior Sauvage. Very popular scent, very popular um, cologne, or perfume, or fragrance, that uh, a lot of people were rocking, or still rock. Sometimes you go to a party or something, and, uh, or an event, and everybody is using Dior Sauvage. So man, yeah. But this one is a more toned down, and in my opinion, more luxurious. 
classier version of the whole Sauvage series. Same thing for me happened with Blue de Chanel. The EDT is great, but to my nose and to my liking, I prefer the Parfum. Blue de Chanel Parfum. Second, Eau de Parfum. And third, Eau de Toilette. Horsehair brush. At the beginning, this one was kind of screechy. Now I, uh, I'm, you know, I run it through her paces and now it's very comfortable. Not smelly. In the beginning, it was a little bit smelly, like all horse hair, horse, horse hair brushes. And uh, yeah. Well, what's new? I want to give a shout out to Javi Afeitader from Spain. Been watching a couple of his videos. And also Afeitado Clásico. Con de Barber. Great, great content. Uh, es Afeitado Español. Son hermanos de la madre patria. Son brothers from the motherland. Que hace de videos, past videos. Uh, Puerto Rico used to be a colony of Spain before we became a commonwealth of the United States. Blackland era razor. And before I talk about the razor, shout out to those Spanish razor, uh, those Spanish uh, content creators. And um, like I told you in the comments, guys, if you're watching, I will be producing or be putting out some Spanish language or um, videos in Castellano. So I will probably I will be doing two videos with the same product, one in English and one in Spanish. Uh, I, it, it would be easier to um, trans put some captions in Spanish or whatnot. But uh, I'm just gonna play along. Blackland era again. Mild, this plate is mild to aggressive, not that aggressive for a plate five. I'm gonna be putting some specs right there. Level of aggression, according to Blackland, is 7.5 out of 10 with this plate and the open comb. And I find it very comfortable and a close shave. The pairing with the big razor, uh, big blade, razor blade, and, uh, and the black blend is very nice. Very nice. I think it comes with Persona Platinums. Or lab, or lab blue. In the factory, they come up with like five blades. And that's it. Oh man, it's so hot. I think I'm gonna go back to the shower and shower again after I finish this. Man. Woo! That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <sighs> Thank God it's Thursday. That's it. Good. So, also I've been watching some videos from uh, Cape Cod with Shaver. I've been watching from Josh from Shooting the Shave. The shave. Um, and uh, yesterday I was uh, uh, watching the Canadian Mafia on Instagram. I'm going to leave a link down here. 
in the description. And yeah, fun times. Fun times. And also, uh, I participate a little bit in the Discord chat that they have. Yeah. Oh, great set. Watch a video from Anthony Esposito, also Italian stallion. Pistachio offering from Ariana and Evans. Ooh, yes. Very, very bueno, very nice. And of course, two sprays is all you need. You do four, you're gonna, you know, <laughs> you know, you, you're gonna be your, you know, get yourself noticed out there. So, senores, I'm done. Uh, just wanted to uh, give a shout out to Pete Hendricks and also Leon from Pasteur's. I've become a, a fan of the pharmacy. I've, you know, if, if, if Leon or, or whomever works in Pasteur's, they already know my address. I've been, you know, quite active getting stuff from them. And um, yeah, I've got a lot of wonderful stuff that I'll be putting out in videos. And like I said, I'm looking forward and making videos also in Spanish because I have some fans, some some of the subscribers that that you know, off camera, offline, and, and Instagram and Facebook, you know, um, showing interest in me and, and producing content in, content in Spanish. So, muchacho, ten pendiente, okay? Pay attention. I'll be doing that. So. Uh, until next time, guys and gals, Carlito Shaves is out of the house. <laughs>